So one thing people ask about a lot is how much water to do, to, to do something like a deep water culture pond or hydroponics in general. These systems are designed to be very resource efficient. So especially this time of year, but even during the summer months, we're using way less water, way less in the deep water ponds than what we would do outdoors. Very different story. Something like 90% less. To give you some idea, during the summer months, when we were doing a lot of outdoor gardening here, when we did need to top off the ponds, we would probably leave the fill hose on for about an hour, okay? And that would, that would top us off. And we would do that maybe weekly versus it was hours and hours that we would be watering every single day to produce the same product. And it was going to take us a lot longer to grow it outdoors than what it would inside anyway. So much, much more resource efficient. Uh, what we're able to do uh, indoors using these hydroponic systems than what we could ever do outdoors. Um, and then a lot of people ask about the lighting and how much money does it does it to to use the lighting. Well, again, I want to I want to stress this that you don't have to use supplemental lighting in the south. You don't have to. Um, it's, if you're in a greenhouse, at least you don't necessarily need it. You can grow a lot without it, even at a commercial level. There are commercial growers who do not use supplemental lighting. It is ideal, and if you do use them, yeah, it's expensive. It's not cheap, and that needs to be factored into your cost. You know, just like any other business, it's an expenditure that needs to be accounted for. Uh, that being said, there's a lot more that you can do with solar than people realize. This past year was our first time to get into renewable energy, and we've got four solar panels and a battery bank uh, that a friend of mine actually helped me set up. And we're able to power all of our grow racks plus our, our grow towers. And we still have additional energy that we're going to be able to use for, to take other systems off grid. I think we could do a lot more in the horticulture space with renewables. And the cost has gone way down. You can buy used panels oftentimes, used batteries. So it's definitely something I would encourage everyone to look into, to at least investigate and look into.